All right, now, Jeremy, let's talk about the book Acing the CCNA Exam. Now, I'm just wondering, since CCNA is a very popular certification and course m courses and materials, CCNA materials are everywhere in the internet mm -hmm. and you will yeah. see many yeah. boot camps out there. Cisco even has a dedicated publishing, Cisco Press. What makes this book unique? Okay, yeah, so that's a good and very important question. Um, there are a lot of different options for studying the CCNA exam. Like, obviously, you know, there are Cisco Press books by Wendell Odom. There are the Cybex books by Todd Lamley and others too. And there's lots of video courses as well. Um, but, you know, you could have said the same about video courses before I created mine and that mine also went on to become successful. So I think there's always room for new options, new teachers, different styles of teaching the material. I think there's always room for new voices in teaching the CCNA. But as to what makes my book unique in particular, um, well, when studying for the CCNA, I generally recommend using multiple resources. And not just multiple resources, but different kinds like uh, books, video courses, uh, labs, practice exams, things like that, a variety of different resources. I think each has their strengths and benefits and also weaknesses. So it's good to use different kinds of materials. But um, the problem is for a beginner, it's hard to use all of those ones, all those different resources together. So, you know, we all teach the topics in different orders. So if you have my video course and then you get the Cisco Press books by Wendell Odom, let's say you watch the first few videos of my course. Okay, you're done. And then you go open the OCG, the official cert guide by Wendell Odom, and it's totally different. You know, the order is different, the sections are different, the titles of the chapters are different. So you don't know which videos in my course align with which chapters in the book exactly. So I think it can be difficult for students to use them together well. So I think that's one of the benefits of my book is that it's structured almost identically to my video course. So if you are following my CCNA course, I think that my book will be much easier to follow because the topics are in the same order as the video course. All right, that's very interesting. So people will not have a hard time connecting your video courses, your Udemy, to this book. Yes. It's saying they're just converting your video into book with added more information. Yes, generally. Yeah, I'd say so. I want to make the learning experience as smooth as possible because I know it's hard as a beginner to get into the CCNA. It's a lot of topics, uh, sometimes very complex. Um, so I want to make the process as smooth as possible. So writing the book, it is generally converting my videos to book form, but also adding extra information and changing some things. Because in the past few years, I've gotten a lot of student questions, like thousands, I get them every day on YouTube or on email, LinkedIn, Twitter, lots of questions. So I've learned which topics students find most difficult and what kinds of questions they have uh, while studying. So now that I know that, when writing the book, I can address those questions before they come up. So I know like um, you know, subnetting is usually very difficult. So I think I teach subnetting better in my book than I did in the video course. Or understanding the OSI model it's a little hard to understand those conceptual topics right at the beginning. Um, so I've taught the OSI model and TCP IP models a little bit differently in the book than I did in the video course. So it's very similar to the video course, but I think there are also some improvements, some changes. Right, right. I, and I agree, I agree with you. There are some things that it's very easy to read and mark than playing videos over and over again. Okay, so your book is like an extended version of your video materials, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Like I said before, there are strengths and also weaknesses to both mediums, video and book. So I think using them together is the best of both worlds. Some things are just easier to explain in a book and you can write on the pages, note things down. And some things it's easier to watch on a video with more animations and different arrows pointing like frame goes here, packet goes here. Yeah. So I think it's best to use them together. 
that makes a much easier learning experience. Correct. Sometimes people like to learn when they see something moving. <laughs> right? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, having having that visual are... element. Sorry, right. go, ahead. go ahead. I was just going to say having that visual element is one of the big benefits of videos over books. But of course, as we said before, books also have their benefits over videos. So it's good to use both. Great. Now, guys, for those who are interested with a book acing the CCNA exam, check the link below and use the voucher for 35% discount. Yep. And um, I'd like to add that the book is in early access at the moment. So I'm still writing the book. And if you buy the early access version, you will get the chapters as I write them. Uh, you can talk with me on the forum. We can discuss the book if you have questions. And I think your feedback will be very valuable for me as I'm writing the book to make it as good as it can be, because I really want this to be the best book it can possibly be. So having students participate as I'm writing it is really helpful. And uh, I think it, the book is going to be great because of that. And hopefully by the end of the year, we'll have the complete physical book. It's going to be a big one. Um, hopefully we'll have that in your hands by the end of this year. I'm doing my best to write it as quickly as I can, but you know, writing a book is not a quick process. It takes a long time. <laughs>